Thank you, Creative Tech Week. Uh, it's the free and open source stuff that I'm here to talk about today, not my company. So uh, the, you can go online and get this. You don't have to download anything. Turns data into music. So uh, data is kind of important, I don't need to tell you that, but we visualize it and it doesn't have any sound, that's what visualization means. But when you add sound, it's kind of like adding stuff to a silent movie. And there's so many things that sound can add, I don't have time to go into today. We use computers that are basically uh, a typewriter with a TV screen attached, so we're interested in new interfaces, and I want to show you where the inspiration came from. It came from a TED talk from a blind astronomer who learned to hear the stars, which will play now in a second. We can only see an itty bitty tiny portion of the electromagnetic spectrum that we call visible light. And beyond that, we rely on other methods. Yet as astronomers, we study a wider range of light, and we depend on other methods to do that. On the screen, it may look like this. You're seeing a plot. That is a light curve. It's a plot of intensity of light over time. It is a gamma ray light curve. Sighted astronomers depend on this kind of plot in order to interpret how this light intensity changes over time. On the left, you will be seeing the light intensity without a burst. And on the right, you will be seeing the light intensity with the burst. Early during my career, I could also see this kind of plot. But then I lost my sight. I completely lost my sight because of extended illness. And with it, I lost the opportunity to see this plot and the opportunity to do my thesis. It was a very strong transition for me in many ways. And professionally, it left me without a way to do my science. I longed to access and scrutinize this energetic light and figure out the astrophysical form. I wanted to experience the spacious wonder, the excitement, the joy produced by the detection of such a titanic celestial event. I thought long and hard about it when I suddenly realized that all a light curve is, is a table of numbers converted into a visual plot. So along with my collaborators, we worked really hard and we translated the numbers into tasks. I achieved access to the data and today I am able to do physics at the level of the best astronomer using sound. And what people have been able to do, mainly visually for hundreds of years, now I do it using Using so we're working with the Mayor's Office of People with Disability in New York to see how we can uh, make data more accessible. How two-tone works, you either bring in your own data or pick a sample and it'll instantly turn the first column into music. Uh, it defaults to a piano, but you can change the piano, you can change octaves and pitch. It's a great way to make music as well if you don't know how to make music. It's a really good cheat because the data does all the work. When you hit the plus button, it takes another column and gives it a different instrument. So it's super easy to use. And kind of, you know, we're also seeing a, a lot of new behavior in audio. You know, people listen to books and uh, listen to news. So. We're at the early stages of this project and we're testing uh, how far it can go when we add some sound. Uh, the next thing up will be, you know, kind of, it's just showing you quickly how it exports. It's super easy to use, it's free, it's open source, feel free to build on it. These is the new headsets from Bose, which don't have any pictures and uh, give AR audio to people as they walk around a city. So, you know, audio's mature and uh, 
we're kind of haven't ha added any AI or machine learning yet, but we're very keen to collaborate and let us know if you're interested.